what is the collective noun for a bunch of creepers? Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. I was able to confirm that the uh, the chorus plant on my rooftop, you can stop, there we go, was indeed a gift from Barb. But look at this over here. There we go. Uh, on the Domokun, <laughs> there's a bunch of them. It looks like hair, which I think is pretty funny. You can load over there. Arr. And he's crying and he's got uh, eyes with glass. Wait, what's behind the glass? Let's see if we can get a quick look without killing ourselves. I don't know. Okay. Welcome. Nice. Sun's starting to go down. I should have probably waited a little bit to start. But here we are. Oh, that's frightening. Uh, welcome. I haven't peeked inside here in a while. I'm sure this is all the same. Uh, metal has not really been on the server in a while. Ow. Although that didn't hurt, did it? So, if you notice, we've got this area lit up over here. And we have some plans. I want to scout a little bit. Uh, in the couple minutes that we have before the sun goes down. Oh, that's that's not good. I need to get some dirt. Maybe I'll harvest some dirt from here and move it over there. There's a cliff. That's no good. How are you? Happy New Year. Hope everything's been good so far. And I hope 2018 will be fantastic for all of you. Um, oh, I have 31 dirt now. Or grass, but you know, same basic thing. So... Uh, New Year's resolutions. I'm not particularly fond of them <clears throat> for a couple reasons. Um, because people tend to choose really grandiose ideas like, oh, I'm going to lose 50 pounds or whatever. There we go. That's better. Um, but also, they, uh, they tend to be a point of failure for the year. And if you start out promising yourself something and then not following through on it, um, it, it's kind of a bad way to start start a year and if you start off feeling like you're already failing then you don't have a lot of incentive to work to succeed the area I'm thinking of must be over here so notice we, we've got a bunch of torches down in this area one of the things that uh, I think I plan to work on and uh, everyone seems to be agreed would be a good idea. So I want to build a zoo. And then we can collect animals. And I'm thinking we want to start after, probably after 1.14 comes out. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So that we can include an aquarium with fishies inside the zoo. I think that will be very cool. Um, but I also want to make sure that the zoo is of a sufficient size that it makes sense. Um, that we can actually build out something pretty significant. Uh, sun's going down. Let's, I think there's a bed over here in the LGBT center. Let's see. There should be. If there isn't, we'll need to add one. So I think that would be a good, since this is supposed to be kind of a refuge. Oh, I see a bed right there. Very good. Let's go to bed. Staring at Domokun. <coughs> so we staked out a place that's over here, just past Barb's place. And it goes way back over here pretty well, up to these hills. And I think that's should be plenty sufficient size wise so we already staked out torches over here out to here 
<clears throat> out to here. Goodness gracious. Uh, I think we have torches to go even further along some of these lines, but we laid out a the basis of a torch grid. I need to spend a little more time lighting this area up, clearing out some of these, some of this grass. And we might be able to use the, the river as part of it, but I wanted some natural terrain. I didn't want it all flat. Did I get lost? I think I did. Uh, <clears throat> I think I got turned around there. So I want it to be kind of hilly. I don't know how many of you have been to the Los Angeles Zoo, but it's a it's an interesting layout. It's in Griffith Park. It's and and it's basically on the side of a hill. So you have to walk up and down to get around to the different areas where the animals are. And so I kind of want I want something like that. And I want it to be all super flat. The entrance area will be flat, the little gate area. This might not work super well, but uh we don't need a big pit, especially a pit with caves and lava in it. But a place where somebody's been harvesting obsidian. Uh, but yeah, and then we'll have all the all the different animals. Hi, piggy. And I'm thinking, we'll what we'll do is we'll have a section for each biome. What was that? Oink! Thought I heard a portal. Obviously, I did not. And we'll get to we get to decorate each area as a as a biome, and we'll have the stuff that lives in that biome uh, in in the that area, which I think will be kind of cool. Be more like a uh, wild adventure park, animal preserve sort of thing. But we'll put we'll put all the all the mobs, pigs and chickens and cows and such. But also, I want to get like polar bears. And uh, and then also the the hostile mobs, so we can get husks. Have a little desert area, and we have little husks. And in the snow area, we can have some strays. Ooh, that's quite a drop there. So that's this area here, and I spent a little time lighting it up so that it's safe to work out here in the daytime. And then I need to figure out size, so figure out how big it needs to be. Doesn't want. I don't want it to be as big as the San Diego Zoo, but I'm thinking the Los Angeles Zoo might be a good. Come on, there we go. Might be a good sort of model. I think it's a it's a good size. So yeah, um, holiday decorations are still there. I took back my beacon from the top of the tree because come on. Um, oh yeah, <laughs> I took down the beacon because I wanted the beacon. I have, uh, I got another wither skeleton so I can make another beacon. Um, one of, uh, one of Risk NC's trees here burned down. And I kind of watched it happen. <laughs> uh, I was standing over my place, which is right there. So the series loaded when I'm in my base. I was standing there looking out the window and it was raining and I saw a thunderbolt. <laughs> And, uh, and then when I came over here next time, his tree was on fire. So the, there's still a little stump of it, but it, it burned down pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I also burned down some of the, uh, some of the walkway. So yeah, it's, this area is a little dangerous. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what we should do about that. It'd be nice to remove some of this but you know risk nc does log on to the server although he spends a lot of his time over across the uh the bay in his little mini san francisco area um this is his stuff i don't want to tear down his base but it's not it's uh it's not super pretty to look at standing over here in my base one less tree now so two other things that I could consider to be resolutions for the server here at least is I need to I need to do something about this it's super framey over here and I don't know how much of that is I've animated I have blocks with animated textures lining the whole pit all the way down I uh, didn't didn't occur to me that that might be a bad idea. 
it goes all the way down. So I may replace some of these with some other block. Uh, or, and I don't know how much of it is the, uh, the incessant clicking of, or not just clicking, but the incessant uh, redstone ticking of the uh, observer clocks that I'm using to drive all the elevators. So I need to do something with that. But one of the things that I want to do with this is it is the beginning of the year, which means February is almost here, which means RPM challenge time. And one nice thing about this is all these clocks are on a different schedule. And I might record some of this and incorporate it as part of my RPM challenge album this year. I don't think it's interesting enough on its own. Oops, don't fly. But uh, I think it's I think it could be interesting if I turn off minecart sounds and ride a minecart down. It will it'll change over time. Uh, and actually, this this would work here, right? As I get farther down in, I'm going to get more and more of the clocks in the sound distance. And the patterns will change. And I got all the bleeding and bawling of the sheep. I'll probably not use that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might, I might use some of that. I think that could be interesting. I seem to have the minecart sounds turned off as it is, which is uh, a little odd. Anyway, but that will probably not be the entire basis of, or even perhaps not even used in the RPM challenge record. Um, I am I'm starting to sort of work through my brain how it's going to work or what I'm going to do. I'm not supposed to start writing or working on it. But one thing I'm doing is trying to build a piece of software to help me with the with the, the album. Uh, it's going to be an interesting thing. It's something I've been mulling about in my brain for quite some time. And I think it will be potentially interesting. It will depend quite a bit on how it's used. So uh, you probably know that if you take a block of text, like say a book, you take Moby Dick, for instance, and you go through and you count up all the different letters, how often they appear inside the book, and you include things like spaces and periods and commas and all that. Um, th whoa. That's, that's Bowser. Sounds like he's coughing up a lung. Um, I'll have to go check on him. So if you go through and count all those things, you can come up with a statistical probability of the appearance of each letter in, in the book. Hi, bunny. And if you go and, uh, oh, do I have only one rabbit in here? <gasps> there are two rabbits. Let me go find a carrot. Um, I may not get sidetracked on my train of thought. So if you have uh, sort of the statistical frequency of each character in a, in a book, you can then randomly generate more characters that share the same statistical uh, characteristics. Nine carats will do. Uh, so I've written software to do this. So you can take, you can take a bunch of input text and run it through an analyzer that goes through and counts up all the different characters and compares that to the total number of characters. Hey bunnies over here. And, and then when you do that, then you can just, you just generate a bunch of random numbers. Hi bunny. Let me feed you a carrot. Where's my other bunny carrot? eater. There he is. You eat. Huh. 
Okay, so clearly the uh, breeding two by two breed all the animals. It was not carrots. It was not uh, rabbits that I was missing. Okay. Hmm. So anyway, lots of people do this kind of uh, random generation of text and they write books or essays or tweets that have statistical oh what's going on down there I think I just found something somebody left for me unless oh huh. um, so that's easy enough to do and I've written software to do this from arbitrary text so you can take the Bible or Moby Dick or whatever Oh, no, I just saw something funny. It was not. I thought somebody probably left a present down here for me, but they did not. Oh, well. Um, but I've been playing around with the notion of doing the same thing with, with sound, with music. And generating random music that has the same sort of frequency characteristics as something else, like, say, a Beethoven symphony. So I'm working on software for that. Uh, and that will be the tool, the instrument that I use for my IPM challenge, if I can get it to work and it doesn't sound completely horrible. Uh, but even if it sounds bad, it will at least be a, it'll be a starting point where one can uh, take, take the output of that and use it as a, as a, uh, I don't know, sounds to process and uh, come up with, uh, use that as, as a starting point for making some sort of audio collage or something of that sort. So, so I don't know. Um, one of the reasons I don't like talking about New Year's resolutions much is uh, one of the problems that uh, apparently uh, psychologically people have, and this is even if you think you're not going to allow yourself to fall victim to it, it's one of these things that's kind of hardwired into the human brain. Um, if you if you talk about something, especially talk about it to somebody else, so if you tell a friend, oh, hey, I'm going to do this, uh, talking about it is actually kind of counterproductive because it will uh, have the effect of making you feel like you've already done it, you've already acted on it, and uh, therefore you're less likely to actually go through and, and execute the idea. So, but, do you have constraints? There are things that I need to do here. One is to finish off this ugly hole in the ground with all the sheep and make it a more productive wool farm. Uh, it's the whole point of building it. I need to build that witch farm, which I've been procrastinating on because I have to figure out the design and and go through and build it and all that nonsense um but i i need to do that we have the the witch hut i've got it marked out i just need to tear it down and start putting in the shifting floors and figure out the design how to kill the witches and do the collection and item elevator and all that good stuff um and so those things and the rpm challenge i need to do i've been doing it I don't know, 10 years, something like that. I, I will feel compelled to create an album for that this year. Um, so in the last two years, I've used Minecraft to do it. So I, I should come up with something different. But that's effectively, even though I might use some Minecraft sounds as part of it. Meow. So anyway, that's New Year's resolutions on the Minecraft LAN party server. Um, yeah. So what are yours? And how good are you at keeping your New Year's resolutions? But I think that's it. I don't have anything else to discuss. Just wanted to get something quickly recorded and in the can. It probably won't get uploaded for few days uh, I have to go on a trip I have to go out of town so I'll, I'll be a little delayed in editing and uploading but um, it'll happen but I wanted to get something recorded 
uh, since it is the new year, 2018. Uh, hopefully it's... What is that? Was that a game sound or was that one of the trash trucks outside? It was like spooky noises. Huh. I don't know. I will go exploring a little bit and see if I can figure that out. Anyway, that's it. I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Bye.